Hi guys, welcome back to Learning English and Literature. In this video, I'll be explaining direct and reported speech. In direct or quoted speech, you say exactly what someone said, word for word, without changing anything, including the tenses. The features of a direct or quoted speech, you must have quotation marks. The verbs must also be in the present. For example, Jesus said, it is finished. There, is, there are quotation marks here, and the verb is in the present, is. He quoted Caesar, ete brute. There are quotation marks here, saying exactly what the person said. The person said, ete brute. And God said, let there be light. There are quotation marks here. The verb, be, is in the present. How do you write a direct or quoted speech? One. Take note, there must be before you start quoting what the person said, you must apply a comma, give it space, then a quotation mark, then the first letter must be a capital letter. Apply the full stop. Whatever publication mark you want to use must come before the quotation mark. For example, The question mark must come before the last quotation mark, not this way. If you do it this way, you're wrong. So whatever quotation mark you want to apply must, in your quoted speech, must come before the last quotation mark. Please take note. The first letter must be, the first letter must be a capital letter. Okay, then whatever punctuation mark you want to apply in your speech must come before the closing quotation mark. Indirect or reported speech. This speech talks about a time in the past. You are reporting what someone said in the past. Quotation marks are not used in indirect or reported speech. The verbs are in the past. Most times there is the use of the word that. Let's take a look at some examples. Jesus said that it was finished. Let me take this off. Jesus said that it was finished. There are no quotation marks and the verb is in the past was. She said that she will never forgive you. There are no quotation marks and there is the word here that. They said you didn't like it. There are no quotation marks here, and that makes it. Well, in fact, once you can't find quotation marks, it makes the speech reported. How to write indirect speech? Okay, you see the difference now. The first one is a direct speech, not how it is written. The second one is a reported speech and not also how it's written. The first one contains quotation marks. The second one does not contain any quotation mark. Okay, so just, just note the difference. Now let's convert these direct speech to indirect speech. I like that car, she said. She said that she liked that car. You can see the difference now, no, no, no quotation marks, and there is the use of the word that. I want to meet your parents, the principal said. The principal said that Now, note the difference between these two. No quotation marks here. The use of the word that, the verb in the past. 
Messi is better than Ronaldo. Okay, let me take this off so they can create more space. Messi is better than Ronaldo, says Zidane. There are no quotation marks. There's the use of the word that. Okay, apply these rules in your essay writing or letter writing, especially in your narrative. You will need to use the direct and indirect speech. Please note the difference between the direct and indirect speech. You will need the direct speech in your narrative writing in the YAC paper, English paper one, the section A essay writing. You will need the direct speech to introduce dialogues, okay, or to quote exactly what someone said. Since you know narrative writing is storytelling, you need to use the direct speech, the quotation marks, to create your dialogues. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps.